Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. So, out here today, getting ready to work on this digital readout again. Maybe for the last time, probably not. If it wasn't for the fact that this is a four axis readout, and someday in the future I'd like to have all four axis on the boring milk. I'd like to have a, a quill read and then also a read on the table. Uh, right now it's just got cross and vertical, which is handy for what you can do with it, but if you want to feed in, you've got to use a, a mechanical indicator to go back to your zero stop every time. It's not as handy for sure as a digital readout, but it does work. But uh, when Keith was here about a week or two before that, I noticed when I was out here when it was cold, this digital readout would start acting up and flashing and powering off and resetting itself all the time. And when it warmed back up, it worked okay again for a while. And then when it cooled back off, it started giving fits again. So it's got a connection loose, apparently. I took it apart and found that I could place my finger on it and uh, get it to work as long as I held pressure on it. So we'll take the voltmeter and see if I can see which one of these connections is bad. And if not, I'll just go over and resolder all of them. So let's take a look. So this is the power supply out of the diesel readout. And one of these connections here is apparently not good because when I held tension on them, I would get power. So, see if I can figure out which one's being a problem. Just try and check continuity on them. See if any of them show open. Well, nothing really right now, so since it's not obvious, so I'll just take the soldering iron and hit them all. So let me get it over to my bench and I'll just dab these, try and be sure they're all sweaty and good, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got them all re-soldered there for a little bit more. Hopefully that'll get the cold joint fixed to where this will work like it's supposed to and not be cutting in and out. So get this stuck back in the machine and see what happens, I guess. Uh, other than that, I didn't see anything else on this board that looks funny or out of place. I only soldered one of them together and had to go back and cut it apart, but it wasn't too bad. Those are close spaced. I'm not a professional. I'm just a machinist. I don't see any bulging caps or anything, so. And I've got the power supply hooked back in here. Hopefully I remembered how all the wires came off. I uh, guess we'll find out if I fixed it or let the smoke out or what's going on. So let's uh, hit the switch and see what happens. Let's put a value on both of them and I'll be able to come down here later and see if it's still showing that same value. And it goes back to zero if the power kicks out, so otherwise it should maintain that. We'll see how it does here. 
I'll come back and check it in a couple hours and see if it's still working. But so far, so good. Well, I've fooled with this here over the last hour and it seems to be behaving, so. I don't know if I'm gonna call it fixed, but at least for now it's working, so I'll let you know if it quits. Uh, just let me get back to doing what I was doing before this pro before project bred into another project. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.